I got a lot of responses in like the first week and I was just seeing which one would pay the most money or who would be staying the longest. College student Brady McDonald was planning on heading home for the summer. So he tried to sublet his apartment through Craigslist. One email response came from students who said they were in another country and would pay $3,000 for two months. Like they weren't very good at responding, but I ended up trusting them. What happened next? They sent me a check for the rent for the apartment and for their travel fees because they said they were out of the country. They asked Brady to cash the check, take the money he was owed and write a check for the remainder to a travel agent making their travel arrangements. Brady thought it was strange, but eager to rent his apartment, he did what they asked. We cashed the check the next day and then uh, sent the money right after that and then the check bounced and I was out three grand. The check was counterfeit. My dad looked at it, he thought it was fine too. Postal inspectors say timing is key to the scam. By the time the bank realizes the check is fake, the con men have already cashed the check. Victims like Brady, are on the line for the bounce check. A lot of consumers have the misconception that the bank would assume the losses in a situation like this, um, when in reality, you as a consumer are responsible for the funds that you deposit into your account and for the funds that you withdraw from your account. Honestly, it was really depressing for me because I felt really dumb, but my parents really helped me out through it. You should never transfer or wire money to someone that you don't know because once it's gone, it's almost impossible to get back.